All right, what is going on guys? So, a little bonus video today, and it's gonna be a giveaway. Um, I've not done a giveaway since about a thousand subscribers. So, it's been a while, it's about time we did one. Uh, and yeah, basically what happened, the other day, I put this picture on Instagram. Obviously you've already seen it, because you follow me on Instagram. What, you don't follow me on Instagram? You better go follow it, because you're missing out on some great content, like this, this, and this. All the things that don't appear on the YouTube, go on there, or the Facebook, so yeah, follow the Instagram, try and get them numbers up, <laughs> so, so yeah, posted that picture on Instagram, a few people commented saying, uh, should do a giveaway, because we've got too many layers, so I thought, yeah, pretty good idea, so, skim some off the top, Bang. we'll go through these in a minute, uh, it's about 200 quid retail worth of lures there. They're all used, uh, so probably like 150 quid used. Let's, let's keep the value pretty well. Uh, but yeah, good selection. You've got a bit of everything. You've got some jerk baits, crank baits, swim baits, spinners, shads, big lures, medium sized lures, top waters, yeah, a bit of everything. So, nice box full there. So yeah, we're doing a giveaway. Um, and how do you enter the giveaway? Well, I'm going to keep this one simple. Uh, this is a picture of a fish I caught the other day. Yeah, not a bad fish. 98 centimetres. Uh, but not told anyone how much it weighed. So to win this competition, you've got to, you've got to go in the comment, you've got to subscribe to the channel, obviously. And you've got to go in the comment section, comment how much you think this pike weighs. Because it's, it's a secret, and a lot of people aren't very good at guessing pike weights, so I just want to see, want to see what some people say. And whoever gets it right, or whoever gets closest to it right, wins. Um, in pounds and ounces, the weight will be. So, your guess might be 56 pounds, 7 ounce. So. Put that in the comments and uh, yeah, um, I'll pick the winner when we get to 12,000 subscribers and we're at 11,800 ish now, so not far off. So, yeah, I'll pick the winner when we get to 12,000 subs. So, make sure you hit that subscribe button and yeah, we'll go through what, what are you going to win now. And this competition is open worldwide, so if you live in Belarus, Birmingham or Bermuda, you can win, so yeah, get entering, let's see, who, let's see who can get the weight of that pike, so yeah, weight of the pike in the comment section below, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to check out the Instagram for all the stuff you're missing out as well, so I'm going to go through these lures now, and you can see what you're going to win. Right then boys, so here's the box, first thing, gunky, hybrid, uh, I forgot what it's called. Something beginning with G. Oh, it says there. Oh no, it's not beginning with D. Dagara Wake. So, that's the first bait. Uh, yeah, we've got a few of them. Never really use them. So. This bait, did a lure challenge on it. Headbanger, tail. These are like 30 quid retail. So, yeah, that's a good little prize for you. Uh, caught two fish on this, I think. Uh, but yeah, don't use it anymore. Got a few others now, so that can go in the giveaway. Uh, it's one of my homemade lures right there. So no one else in the world's got one of these apart from me and you. If you win, uh, I'll, I'll include rigging. Obviously, I just don't want to put it in the box and tangle if you're not. So there's number three, Westin Raw Bite, 15 centimeter one. Awesome lure. These are quite expensive as well. Uh, pretty good condition. Bit of hook rash, but other than that, it's nice. Number four. Another crankbait. Salmo. Uh, not sure what this is called. Never used this. Uh, well, that's about a 12 centimeter. Pretty nice bait as well, but again, not much of a crankbait. So I'll put that in the pile. Uh, Western Swim. 10 centimeters suspending 
no hooks on this, but I'll, I'll put some on before I send it out. Just, yeah, the old hooks were naff, so I took them off. Uh, next is this little Savage Gear spinner thing. I wanted to include a spinner style bait, so that's in. Um, Zalt, classic. This is a real Zalt, not a copy as well. So, that's an expensive lure. I think these are about 20 quid. Uh, but yeah, like Sweden's top pike catching lure or something like that. Put that in. I don't use it, probably never will. So, yeah. Another jerk bait. Uh, salmon slider, 12 centimeters. Uh, nice lure, pirate pattern. Never use this one either. So, yeah. Basically, a brand new lure. Uh, Fox uh, Pro Shad. I think this is 18 centimeter in Golden Trout. 15 gram jig head. Got a stinger on there as well. Never used that. What's that? I forgot. Savage Gear. Um, but, uh, yeah, four play, 19 centimetres. Nice lure, but again, don't use it. So, send it out to you guys. Another Savage Gear, Shiner Glider. This is a smaller one, like, I forgot how big it is, 13 centimetres, I think. Nice little bait, but again, don't use it. So, yeah. Hide hook lure. These are quite hard to get hold of. Retail for about 15 quid each. He sent me loads of these out last year, but... Yeah, never. But yeah, I've got like 12, so send one out to you. Uh, basically, the hooks are hidden, good for fishing weedless. Uh, hooks come out when you get by, etc. So, yeah, nice little weedless lie there. Um, Eastfield Wingman Curly Tail 23 centimeters, I think. Nice lure, nice for fishing slow in winter. I've got a few of them, so I'll send one out. Uh, Pro Rex Lazy Jerk, still in its box. This is the one I used in the review. What I broke, uh, I've repaired it though, so yeah, I'm not gonna use it, so might as well send it out. It's still in its box. Uh, Savage Gear Bat. Did the video on this, bought it just for the video, and got no plans to use it again, so I'll send that one out. Not in bad condition, it's got a few bite marks over it, but there's that. Um, so if you get a soft cloth for play, shallow rigged, uh, yeah, I've got like five of these, so sent one out. Not a bad lure, got plenty of fish on these. The Svatsonka McRubber, I think this is a 25 centimetre one. Uh, yeah, never use this. I've got two. I, I like the blue one, so I'm keeping the blue. So you like the black one. Two. Um, squish baits made by squish baits. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Julian at squish baits sent me loads of these out, so I thought I'd send some to you guys. Awesome little lure. Uh, uh, little caveat at the top where your hook's hidden. It's Obviously, when you get a bite, it squashes down and uh, reveals the hook. It's not going to focus, is it? But yeah, so I put two of them in. Awesome looking baits. Catch fish, very realistic. But they're in. And the last thing is one of my homemade jerk baits. Finish isn't the best, but you know, it works. Fire Tiger, everyone loves a Fire Tiger pattern. And yeah, that's it. So, there's like literally a bit of everything in there. Yeah. So that is it guys, that's all the baits. Uh, pretty good selection, I thought I tried to pick a bit of everything. Uh, more on the heavy side, sort of 50 to, 50 to 100 grams. 50 to 100 grams. Uh, so, yeah, good pike selection. Musky, big, big up for bass as well. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Write your guess weight for this fish in the comment section. Pounds and ounces, and I'll pick the winner when we get 12k subscribers. So yeah, catch you guys in the next video.
good look by the way.